Isn't that right? Well, this is the shop's owner, Jim Finefield's 70th birthday, so they're having a little party here. But somebody asked just how many sumps does a 310 have? Well, this has quite a few because we've got six fuel tanks, first of all, and we've got a couple of bays. Here's one. That's for the main, what they call the mains, which everybody else calls the tanks, but Cessna calls it the main. And that's a vent. That's a vent. Oh, here's one. This is one for the auxiliary fuel tank there. Okay. Um, and we've got a wing locker fuel tank here. Let's see. Oh, they're working on the gear. They're getting it all uh, uh, played with. Align. you got to realign that every year. Uh, the gear is kind of tricky on a 310. Uh, there's, a, a, there's the fuel sump for the aux. Uh, fuel tank right up there that little guy there and let's see what else we got we've got other sumps we've got cross feed drain sumps I think uh, there's another sump right there and there's another one and look at here there is another one I think the guy who um, the engineer who designed this airplane the sump engineer got paid by the sump because this thing has more sumps and uh, some of them are little drains. I guess they don't count. Um, yeah, it's not as easy getting under here. And uh, here are a couple of drains. This is the this is for the heater, and it's got a, a few little drains here. So that's basically the ones on this side. And uh, oh, what else we got here? Oh, those are some probes and antennas. You know how that works. All right, we also have um, the gear here, and we've got a sump there, and uh, that's a drain there, and there's another sump up here. So we're starting on the other side again with the, the sumps on the way out, yeah. and there's the yeah. sump for the uh, um, aux tank, and that's my little battery maintainer there. All right, this isn't this isn't good with the gear, of course, um, but it's kind of intermediate. He's playing with it. Those those will put back together, and uh, that'll be straight before they uh, before I fly it again. Well, that's the aux air door. In case the main thing here gets iced up, I can get alternate air from the inside. And there's some other little. Electrical things that I have no idea what they do. That's why I pay these guys. And that's a thing. That's a thing too on the engine. Um, oh, that's that's the uh, vacuum pump. I know that because this thing has had a problem with vacuum pumps. It runs through them. Uh, um, well, I can't think of a decent analogy. But anyway, um, one that I can publish and not get uh, in trouble. Um, but uh, yeah, it runs through us quite a bit. There's the spin-on filter, safety wired. Um, that's for the boots. Had to replace all of these hoses. It came out of Arizona and had dry rot. The good thing is no corrosion, but everything plastic and that, like hoses, rubber, uh, had to be replaced because of the dry rot. And there's my VGs again. And here's my stall indicator. The uh, other 310 actually had an angle of attack. It was kind of the same device, but it was an angle of attack one. And of course, here we go out. We've got the sump on the other main tank. Everybody else calls tip tanks. And then of course, we've got the, uh, the uh, oh, this is a little retractable tie down. That's really cool. It's got retractable gear. It's got a retractable little tie down thing here. And I've actually tied a, a GoPro camera to this looking back towards the gear, which is kind of cool. And there's another vent. Oh, and there's a, a sump. And there's one for the uh, wing locker tank. And I'm not sure what that is. It's a little vent thing. Here's, a, here's another little, that's a breather thing. Anyway, that's the tour of the airplane for now. It's come along. Um, I'm getting ready for a little birthday party here, so uh, nobody's working. Except for Brian over here. He doesn't want to be on, so I'm getting a. There it is. This is out. Hi, Brian. How you doing? Now you're gonna be. 
Now you can look this one up. I'm on one of your films. You're going to be world famous now. Yeah, I will be now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see the thing here? This guy's up on jacks. My guy's up on jacks. I hope they don't lower him first. It's really tight in yeah, here. Yeah, well, we don't lower this one first. Nope, nope. It's not on purpose anymore. I would hope not. All right, that's the grand tour of how many sumps does this airplane really have? All righty. All right, so I'm back home and I got the, the uh, flight manual out here and it's got a picture of the fuel system. Same thing as the maintenance manual here. That one's a little bit bigger, but okay. Uh, I got six tanks here and I have all six. I have the optional wing locker tanks. And this is what the little fuel drain looks like, that little uh, schematic item there. So let's take a look at this. We got the main tanks, uh, which everybody else calls tip tanks, but those are the main tanks. Okay, so we got a uh, drain there. doesn't really show you where it is on the tank. You kind of have to find it. I guess you, you have to know where these things are. Um, I looked for pictures, and there aren't any. So there's one there on the main tank. There's the uh, optional auxiliary tank uh, um, with, with the extra space. I've got all uh, the, um, it's got 11.5 optional 20 gallons as normal. So I got that 30, uh, 31.5 each side. Uh, so we got, uh, and, and then we got the uh, wing locker tanks here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got seven, eight on the fuel selectors and on the cross feed drain, nine, ten. So we got ten of these little suckers. Wow. Um, and I think there's even one on the um, heater. But I went to the maintenance manual, see if that helped me out, give me a picture. Uh, no, a lot of maintenance manual stuff. Uh, flow trees. Oh, got a few pictures here. Uh, tells you how to take it apart, how to get the things, gives you details, instructions. I mean, that's nice. Somebody uh, spent a lot of time writing this. Um, when I worked for Cessna Flight Test, I knew some of the guys who actually, and gals who actually did this. They wrote uh, these manuals there. Um, yeah, that would be a good way to fall asleep. And all these pictures and stuff. And so, yeah, if you want to repair it, replace it, that's good. More pictures of the fuel system. Oh, there's a vent shows you where the vents are it's a little more detailed scoops and that but it doesn't give you a whole great idea where everything's at and uh yeah whatever uh there's more stuff about pumps now uh, there's a little bit detail about the selector so there's there's a lot of things and it's kind of scary when you you, know, you look at this um and now we're finally getting the auxiliary fuel system boy there's all sorts of stuff here you know um, this is nice. I'm never going to repair it myself because um, even though I, I am a lifetime member of society, uh, no, experimental test pilot, I'm a lifetime member of that, but um, EAA, even though I'm a lifetime member, oh, and there's some bling. There's a little sticker I got. You can get the cute little things like this. Uh, even though I'm a lifetime member, my motto is I will never fly in any aircraft I've worked on. And here's some other bling with the um, uh, new shirts with the uh, Great Lakes on it. And I'm getting a few with the um, uh, T-38. And the tail number of the T-38 on, on the shirt is the tail number of the aircraft that, that uh, it's the 38 that tried to kill me because he, um, uh, the canopy came off at 500 knots because the mechanic didn't get the latch tight, uh, which I couldn't detect on the ground because all the alignment stripes were right, and I talk about that in the video. But anyway, I got this. I got the 38 ones uh, that should be on the uh, shop site and stuff like that. And uh, uh, Tom Wilson was the guy who uh, did some graphic. He, he's been a longtime uh, follower and a great guy, and he did some uh, graphic design for me just uh, did it for the heck of it, and uh, he put those on there and put it together, so it's really cool. So anyway, that is the saga of the fuel system and the engineer who probably made a lot of money putting all those drains in on the 310R model. Thanks for watching.